the 40 minutes ago the news broke from the Leicester City website that Brendan Rodgers had been fired. He'd left the club. Responsibility now for men's first team training and match prep will go to the club's long-serving first team coaches, Adam Sadler and Mike Stahl. Tim, your reaction to his departure? I don't like it. I don't like it at any, um, at any club at this point in the season. I just don't think there's a lot of time left. Um, it's concerning because... Yes, things haven't been good. Results haven't been good. But Brendan Rodgers said uh, this past week that it's not a skill that's going to get them out of trouble. Um, Madison, we know, talked about – he did an interview. said they're not in a relegation fight. They are in a relegation fight. Um, so there's a mentality that needs to be changed um, with, with the two members of staff taking over. Uh, I don't know if that's the answer because it's got to be, at least as far as I'm concerned, probably the same ideology. These players need – a demanding voice that they respect because they have to turn this mentality on their head. They can't just continue to go out and think we're going to play our way out of this. This isn't about football. This is about mentality and a willingness to scrap. We don't know how long Sadler and Stahl will mm. take charge. It might just be the next game. It might just be the next training session. At the mm. moment, we don't know. You said yesterday you felt Leicester were sleepwalking into relegation, yep. but they probably couldn't afford to sack right. Rodgers. Well, they can. Yeah, they can, and, that, and that's where I'm a little surprised because they're in financial fair play difficulties. They announced record losses after last season, I think £92.5 million. Pounds. Um, so that's, you know, when you fire a manager, <clears throat> you've got to pay him off. So that's why I didn't think they were going to do that. That being said, now, if you forget about that argument, it should have gone a while ago. It should have been fired a while, a while ago because this, this team has looked stale, stale for the last few months. And we've seen this before from Rodgers a little bit. He does good work everywhere, by the way, Brendan Rodgers. Mm -hmm. He's done good work, won stuff, almost got to a great place in Liverpool. But he's done well. He's done well at Leicester City. But there's a moment where his brightness, that cleverness as a coach, seems to get, get a little bit old with the players, gets a little stale. And six losses in the last seven all competitions into the bottom three. And a squad and a team with good players, mm. good players throughout it, really. So, um, it, when the football side of it, not surprised. It's just the money side. This He'll is. be wanted, though, won't he, by yes. other clubs? Yeah. They will, because he's done good work. Every one of his jobs has, has been pretty good. So there's a few. We've Rebecca already been talking about it during the first yeah, half. Could he go? Where could he go? Because, yeah. no doubt, having won the FA Cup, Community Shield and taken uh, Leicester yeah. into Europe, he is a popular manager and a successful one. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.